What's up YouTube? My name is Balder and uh, this is part two of my TWS tutorial, taking down multiple targets. Anyway, this time I am in the MiG-29, part of Flaming Cliffs 3, and the MiG-29 is the Russian answer to the F-15 and F-16. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my radar. And the difference between the MiG-29 and the F-15, there are several, but one of the main ones is that I have to go to TWS-2 instead of normal TWS. The reason being is that it has three modes, but TWS-2 pretty much tracks both of the uh, targets. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and go over my targets, look for them, and once I do, I'll be able to show you how it works. So we have one already there, and two, so I'm going to scan over the one that's further. Keep them centered. And you'll have to wait a little bit while, but it does it automatically. Both of them are in range, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fire off both. Fox 3, Fox 3. So anyway, with the MiG-29, it's more automatic. The, the diamond is the target that's the primary. The crosshair is the one that's secondary. So we'll go ahead and see if it works. Splash 1. Splash 2. Didn't seem to finish the job, so I'm going to fire off two more, Fox 3. And this should be able to do the trick. Splash. And splash. So yeah, basically when it comes to large planes, you may need more than one missile. Usually that's not the case, but sometimes it does happen. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial is that you have issues when it comes to TWS. Neither in the MiG-29 or the F-15 can you use TWS when you have a well when you have a plane that's jamming. It will not work. In fact, in the MiG-29, it won't even let you go on TWS if there's a jammer. It just doesn't work and I don't know exactly why. Either way though, you need to fire and forget. For the Russians, it's the R-77. And, of course, what you usually want to do is that you want to have the furthest be the primary, because that's the one that's going to be shot at first, that's the one that it's going to read, and inevitably, in the end, it's going to be the one that's the most likely to be hit. So you want it to be closer. That way, you won't have any issues before you, you know go ahead and find your targets. Now, TWS and taking out multiple targets is finicky at best. What you're going to have is that you're going to have a lot of trial and error and sometimes it's not going to work. But either way, if you have if you have multiple targets and you're worried about whether they're going to gang up on you, taking out two at once is going to be your best bet. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, like and favorite, and if you like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's definitely more to come. Have a nice day.